Hey guys, quick recap. Soup's On is a third-person shooter cooking game that takes place in various spooky locations. You play as a magical servant who works in a food truck. They are tasked with preparing, cooking, and delivering delicious soup to customers as they show up to your somewhat famous truck throughout the night. In 2022, I discovered the 32-bit game jam. It was a two-week jam where you would create a game that matched the aesthetics of games from the late 90s. Since then, I've been on and off again if I wanted to continue working on this project, and now I'm finally deciding to continue working on it. My end goal for this project is to remove bugs, add some needed features, add a few more levels, and give it an overall better presentation. With that said, let me show you a closer look at the game. So another big thing that I wouldn't really consider a bug, but rather a missing feature, was the fact that the enemies could not attack you. And by enemies, I mean the crop monsters. So all they would do would, is that they would just follow you and be annoying. They didn't hurt you or anything like that. So if we hop into Blender real quick, I can show you the new animations that had to be made. The reason why the crop monsters didn't attack was partly because I didn't have time to implement code and make animations. So that's what I did. I made some quick animations for the crop monsters. As you can see, here's the tomato. This is the bite. This is the first animation I did. Didn't really like it that much. I mean, I liked it. I just thought it was too fast. So what I did was I made a copy of one that gives a little bit more anticipation, a little bit more warning to the players that they know that they're, that they're about to be chomped on. And the way I set up the skeleton is that they work on all of the, all of the crop monsters. Let me move that guy over a little and then boom, they work on all of them. And if we take a look in Unreal, It should actually work where I get real close to them, they'll take a they'll try and take a bite. I also added a sound effect. See? Another thing that I did in Unreal for this animation was that I made it so that the mouth to do you mind? Another thing that I did in Unreal that I didn't do in Blender was I made the mouth texture change from a closed mouth to an open mouth. So gives it that more oomph and also added a sound so the sound is the sound is baked into the animation and like I said before it works on all of the crops so now that the enemies can attack the player I need to make it so that they can harm them which isn't too difficult it's actually very simple but I wanted to make it so that when the player got attacked they got knocked back a little bit and they like flash red okay so let me show you what happens when you get attacked right you get hit you play a little hurt sound and then you flash red so of course another thing that needs to happen when you get hurt and take damage is if you take too much damage you need to die so on top of attack animations I also had to make death animations don't mind the texture on the player it's it's I don't know what happened but when you die you die right I get hit with this little cute little death animation so now that you can die in the game this is what it looks like when you die and then you just respawn so when you die you can't move your camera around can't move obviously and then you just wait to be respawned so that was a lot of things I needed to add and I'm very glad that I added them in a, s a small bug with this flashing damage that I've encountered is that it only works on one texture that is, it only it only works on one material so for example this the player character has one material and it's the entire body However, it's, hold, it's holding a gun, and the gun has three materials. But the way that the code works right now is that whenever I get hit, it, the first material it finds, which is this one in this case, 
this is the only one that's going to flash red. So we go back. Only I flash red. I, I'm trying to make it so that the entire character flashes red. But um, yeah, that's something I'm still working on. Also, the f red flashing isn't just for the player. It's also for the enemies. So let me do it on the corn. So if I shoot this corn, may not be able to tell, but oops, may not be able to tell, but he is flashing red. It also works for the skeletons. Once they spawn in, there we go. So as you can see, they flash red when they take damage. And of course, when they die, they drop the bones. A few more small things that I added were the health bars, the ammo counter, and the stamina bar. As I said previously, the first iteration of the gun had unlimited ammo, and now it has six shots. So when I fire my weapon, my ammo goes down, and then when I'm out of ammo, it does a little shake to indicate that I'm out, and then of course you just reload and you get all your bullets back. And for the stamina bar, when you hold the sprint button, it depletes. For the health bar, uh, I decided not to do a similar bar, like the stamina bar. I decided to do little icons, like Legend of Zelda. So when you get hit, it does the little shake animation and you lose it. And when you get low enough, it starts to pulsate. And when you're on your last health, it's pulsating more. And then of course, when you get hit, you die. So yeah, that's all I have for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and, and yeah. Let me know if you want me to go into more detail on any of these uh, features I've added. Stay tuned for the next episode where I believe I'll be talking more about the textures that we use for the game and how I'll be updating them. And yeah.